Thank you, Dee Dee. So we have a flood of boat people uh, on the way to Guantanamo now. We stand by our new policy to Cuba, and we will not be intimidated by Castro's cynical attempt to solve his domestic problems by encouraging people to flee. We are doing our best to discourage these people. But if we, to the extent we fail to do that, the next thing we're doing is we're doing our best to save lives, the people who actually go to sea, and then taking them to Guantanamo. At Guantanamo, we are expanding the facility to accommodate that. They will not be processed for admission to the United States. They will be registered there. They will be counseled concerning their location in a safe haven but they will not be coming to the United States. First of all, we hope to conclude shortly an agreement with the Turks and Caicos Islands to open a safe haven there. Secondly, Panamanian President-elect Perez Baladeras released a statement in Panama yesterday indicating that he is prepared to cooperate with the United States to seek a solution to the problems created by the large number of Cubans leaving the island. And third, in Suriname, the construction of safe havens for Haitians is underway, and we are discussing with that government the possibility of their taking Cubans as well.